Hello, my name is Ronika and I'm doing my trainee at IPC Computer in Germany and today I'm excited to show you how you can use a MacBook Pro or Air with the M1 chip from 2020 with two external monitors. One well-known issue with the new M1 MacBooks is the inability to use two external monitors. Finally, we found a solution how you can use two external monitors with our IPC docking station and display link and let me show you how you can use it. And stop, before you go down in the comments, you can also use it with the old MacBooks with the Intel chip or with the new 2021 Macs with the M1 Pro or Max. To download this play link, you have to search for it and select the newest available version for Mac OS. If you scroll down a bit, you can find the download button. And the general terms and conditions which we have to accept. Afterwards, you can see if the download was successful by looking at the top right corner of the screen. Double-click to continue the installation process. Then you just skip your way through as shown in the video, accept the GTC again and select an installation volume. At this point, you have to enter your login password. If the installation was successful, you can drop it into the bin. There should appear an icon on the top, click and select the box. This activates Auto Start when launching Mac OS. After installing DisplayLink, we have to make a quick change to our system. Press the Apple icon, then System Preference. Security and Privacy. Make sure you're in the Privacy settings and select screen recording. Click the lock and enter your password again. And lock the settings by clicking on the lock. At this point, display link is fully functional. Now, to connect the monitors, we obviously need our IPC computer docking station. It supports a 5K monitor or up to two 4K monitors. And as you can see, there are lots of USB connectors to use external equipment like a mouse, keyboard, headphones, or something like that. First of all, we have to connect the docking station to the MacBook and the monitors. As you can see, it is labeled with display one and display two. Just use one connection from each selection. In our case, we have used DisplayPort for Display 1 and HDMI for Display 2. And don't forget the power cable, which is included in the delivery. At last, we use a USB-C cable to connect to the MacBook. This also charges your device. The MacBook was connected successfully. And we opened a few tabs to show you that all monitors function individually. And at the end, I hope this video was helpful for you. You can give us a thumbs up and in the description below you can find the link where you can buy it in our online store. And have a nice day, see you next time.